Welcome everyone to the 2021 Rules Package video for the Adult Diecast Racing Cup and the Liquid Rush Energy Drink Racing Series. All right, we have a lot to go over, but first we're going to start with the cars that are allowed. So any car that has ever raced in Cup, the ones made by Lionel, Winter Circle, Action, Team Caliber, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Racing Champions, Revel, Johnny Lightning, etc. They are allowed. So basically if it was made for a driver, we all kind of know what we're talking about here. It is allowed. And basically everything is still allowed from last year minus the Grand American Series cars. They are not allowed in 2021. There may be a separate series for them later on in 2021. Also, all Hot Wheels stalkers, minus the Mustang stalker, are allowed, as well as the Front Run in Fairmont and the stalker. So the old school Monte Carlo stalkers, the Chevy stalkers, Thunderbird stalkers, etc., all allowed except for the Mustang stalker. Remember, no IROC cars. Any questions, please ask before building. I'd hate for them to show up in my P.O. box and not be what's allowed and I can't race them. So any questions, any concerns, any doubts, please ask before building. All right, we will continue with the weight limit being set at a maximum of 65 grams per car. Now, this year, if they go over, there will be a penalty. That's right, you will lose five points for every full gram the car goes over 65 grams. So if it's under 66, you're okay. If it goes over 66, say 66.9, that's technically one full gram over, so you'll lose five points, so on and so forth. And again, as always, wheel swaps, graph fighting are allowed. The cars must fit on Hot Wheels Orange Track. Even though we don't race that often on Orange Track, they have to fit on it. Nothing can be added to the car on the outside with the exception of paint and decals. And each car must have a number on each side of the doors and the roof as well as a sponsor on the hood. You can have sponsors throughout the car like a real NASCAR but you have to have at least a sponsor on the hood. Alright, a big change for the 2021 season. The Liquid Rush Energy Drink Racing Series will be its own series starting next year. And that means the winner of the Liquid Rush race will no longer advance to the ADRC race since they are their own separate entity. Builders can submit up to four drivers total with a maximum two backup cars allowed for each driver. So if you have four drivers, three backup cars, the most you should be sending in is 12 cars. Builders can opt to run all four drivers in one series or split up two drivers in each series. So two drivers in ADRC, two drivers in Liquid Rush, or all four drivers in one series. All right, it has come time to where we need to start implementing an entry fee, and that will start in 2021. So on per driver, not per car, including your backup cars, but per driver, the ADRC entries will be $10 per driver. The Liquid Rush entries are $7 per driver. Like I said, no extra fee for backup cars. All entries due no later than February 1st of 2021. The two backup cars, however, can be mailed at any time. However, I do recommend you at least send in one just in case. And as always, mail all entries to Rhino P.O. Box 577-976, Modesto, California, 95357. All right, let's get on to rules for each of the respective series. The Adult Diecast Racing Cup will see the top 15 in points at the end of this 2020 season. We'll be guaranteed a spot in the 2021 Daytona 500 should that said driver return for the 2021 ADRC season. Say we only get 10 drivers that return, then that's all we're going to take that get automatic entries into the next Daytona 500. The top 15 provisional will remain for the first half of the 2021 season and will reset to the top 10 for the second half of the season. We 
will still run the Speed Weeks and the All-Star Race under the same rules as we have in 2020. We will maintain a champion crown with the most amount of points at the end of the season like we currently have. Points paying races will remain 36 cars qualify, 6 segments of 6 cars each, 4 laps each segment and the main event. The second race, 2 laps with the winner going on to the main event. So none of that changes. All right, now on to the Liquid Rush Energy Drink Racing Series rules. This is going to be quite the different series here. Only one automatic entry per race, which will be the previous race winner. So, for example, the Liquid Rush Daytona race, whoever wins Speed Weeks is the only one guaranteed a spot in the Liquid Rush Daytona race, and so on and so forth. Now, there will be a playoff system. The regular season will be the very first eight races. The playoffs, the last four races. How do you reach the playoffs? Simple. You win and you're in. Regular season races only. 16 drivers will qualify for the playoffs. So with the 12 race season, if there's 12 different race winners, then we'll go to the next highest four drivers in the point standings at the end of the season and they will get in. If we have eight race winners, then the next eight that did not win a race, next eight highest in points will go on to the playoffs. All right, in terms of playoffs, the standings will be reset. So just like in the cup racing right now, you will have playoff points. This is how you will be reset. So you'll get 10 playoff points for every race win. You'll get five playoff points for every segment win and three playoff points for every poll. That's only the regular points paying races, not including Speed Weeks or the All-Star Race. 32 cars will make up each race. There will be four segments of eight cars each, three laps per segment, with the top two finishing cars moving on to the main event, which will be a three lap shootout. All right, very important. If a car is unfit to race, it's broken, too slow, it's just not making it down, doesn't follow the rules package, it will not race. Minus the, uh, like we mentioned before, going over the weight limit. If it doesn't follow the rules other than that, wrong build, so on and so forth, broken, too slow, it will not race, guys. All right, tracks. The 2021 season will consist of pretty much what you've already seen in the 2020 season this year. There may be minor tweaks to the tracks due to location change from the beginning of this 2020 season when we were racing outside to now where we currently race in the garage. So there might be some tweaks going on, but for the most part, they should be fairly similar to what you've seen this season. All right, on to sponsorship. We're looking for sponsors on all levels of both series. It's a great way to promote an online business such as selling on eBay, your eBay store, Etsy, your own website, etc. It's a great way to promote your YouTube channel or other social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, MySpace, MySpace store, uh, you know, stuff like that, any social media. It's a great way to send messages to loved ones such as happy birthday, will you marry me? I hate your guts. Stuff like that. Also, links to all sponsors, minus the messages, will be left in every series event video description, which means once you scroll down past watching the video before the comments, you know that little video description, we will leave the link in there to stores, channels, etc. All right, sponsorship levels that are available for each series include primary sponsor, which includes a billboard made by Davigers Customs that will be placed at the start gate of every series event. Also looking for secondary sponsors. Also includes a billboard by Davigers Customs at focal points along the track, which may also include finish line gate. Single multi-race sponsor will include the same said billboard of your logo along the track all right we're testing this one out commercials 
For the 2021 season, we also have spots to run your own commercials. If you're using music, you must use a piece from the YouTube library that does not require attribution. These should also not run longer than 30 seconds. Again, great way to help promote business and or YouTube channel slash social media. All right, contact info. You can leave a comment down below in this video regarding a question to anything concerning the, the builds, the cars, the rules. That way I won't have to come up with a second video. And if you comment down in the comment section below, I can update everything in the video description so everybody is on board. That way we can have everything down in just one video. So concerns about questions about cars, builds, rules, etc. Please leave down below. If you're inquiring about sponsorship slash commercials, you can direct message me on Instagram, which is also sub 4 ra or you can contact me through email, sub 4 ra at yahoo.com. All right, I've put a lot of thought and effort into this, so hopefully I got everything down right the first time. But again, if it's questions about builds, cars, rules, please leave down in the comment section below so we can keep everything on only one video. All right, guys, make sure you have fun. Don't forget, second place is really nothing more than that first loser. As always, thanks for watching. Looking forward to finishing the 2020 season and this highly competitive, I'm sure it's going to be 2021 season of the ADRC and the Liquid Rush Energy Drink Racing Series. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next one.